what is up everybody this is random rider obviously um, so I gotta ask you guys a question um, I've been tooling around with the drift HD and I like this external microphone it doesn't require a battery or anything and it seems pretty good on picking up stuff but uh, I'm trying to get a little bit better sound quality out of it without um, doing anything crazy. Now I have the sound setting on the standard default setting, it's two I think, and I gotta drop it down to one to try that out. I just keep forgetting to because I remember when it's on my head and everything. But uh, so I'm gonna try that which I haven't done yet. But I have it on the left side of my helmet. Like, the cheek pad, the center of it, you know, it's, it's cut out, like most cheek pads for the thing, for the helmet, right by the cheek area. So it's, you can actually kind of see the side, the wall of the helmet. And that's where it is, it's kind of down by my jaw area, but not, not in front of it, it's on the side. Uh, and that's been the best results I've gotten so far. I seen a couple of videos where people say they have their helmet or their microphone like by their eye in their helmet. I don't really think that's too possible to do with this helmet. I don't know 100%. So uh, if anybody got, has any ideas, I'd like to know. Just because I've done a test ride just on the highway. And I, I'm not really a fan of, uh, of uh, the... The noise going on a little bit. I mean, it's inevitable with the current setup, but I was trying to find something just a little bit better. I think if I drop the, the sensitivity down one, that'll really help. Um, another problem is I can't tell <laughs> uh, just anybody interested in the Drift HD. I like it, it's fun, but uh, it's remote that's down there on my handlebars. It doesn't have a light, meaning when you press the button, um, you don't really know if it actually works unless you hear it beeping from the camera. The problem is, when you're moving at speed, you can't hear the beeping of the camera. And I've, I'm still having trouble pushing the button on this remote as dumb as it sounds. Um, I have to like, like press it a couple of times and then I'll hear the beep. Uh, it's just a weird button. I don't. It's not like a it's not like a switch. The whole thing is not a switch. It's like a rubber cover for the little circuit of the button in here. So you have to hit it like center for it to actually work. At least that's what it seems like. Um, I prefer the the, the, uh, the VIOS POV HD uh, remote because it's an actual more like the entire thing is the button. And it has a little red, uh, I guess, LED in there to let you know if you hit it correctly, the light will blink, letting you know that you push the button correctly. So just something to keep out for if you're looking to get this thing. That there's no light indicator letting you know that you push the button correctly. As dumb as that may sound, uh, you know, needing one. It's definitely handy, especially when you can't hear the camera beep. Um, but yeah, if anybody has any um, insight on what I can do with the external microphone for the drift, uh, in terms of better placement, uh, areas from where I have it now. Uh, I see some people out there with Drift, I guess the Stealth or the HD, I don't know what one they have, that, um, you know, I'm watching their videos and they're on the highway riding and they're getting good sound out of it without getting too much wind problem. And I think, you know, I'm going to put the setting down, that'll help. That's a nice car. But, uh, even still, if anybody has any insight, let me know. Alright, this is Random Rider. Uh, peace out.